Welcome to my lecture online, and now for something different. Here we're going to find the unknown index of refraction on the side of the object. We have a glass rod with index of refraction of 1.6 inside a liquid with an unknown index of refraction, and we're trying to find out what that is. We're given that there's an object 14 centimeters to the left of the rod, Here's the boundary between the liquid and the rod, the glass rod. It has a radius of curvature of 4 centimeters. And we're told that there's an image 9 centimeters to the left of the boundary. Of course, S prime is now going to be a minus 9 centimeters because it's on the same side as the object. So what is that index of refraction? Well, we're going to use the same equation as we always do. It's this one right here. And let's plug in the values that we know. Now, N1 is going to be the unknown quantity. So in this case, we have N1 divided by S, which is 14, plus N2, which is known, 1.6, divided by the image distance, which is a minus 9. And that's going to be equal to N2 minus N1. N2 is 1.6. N1 is the unknown, the index of refraction, divided by R. Now, since R is convex towards the object, that's going to be a positive radius of curvature, so we put in a positive 4. All right, simplifying this a little bit, this becomes N1 over 14 minus 1.6 over 9 is equal to dividing the denominator into the numerator. 1.6 divided by 4 is 0 0.4 minus N1 over 4. Now we can move all the terms that have an N1 to the left side, everything else to the right side. So we have N1 over 14 plus N1 over 4 is equal to 0 0.4 plus 1.6 divided by 9. Now we have a common denominator here equal to 28. So 14 goes to 20, 28 twice, so that's 2 times N1 over 28. Plus 4 goes to 28 7 times, so 7N1 over 28 is equal to 0 0.4 plus 1.6 divided by 9. And then, if we factor out an N1 and combine the terms, let's go over here. Then what we have here is we have N1 times 2 plus 7, which is 9. 9 over 28 is equal to 0 0.4 plus 1.6 divided by 9. And finally, whoop, this is N1, of course. Yep. And N1 is equal to 28 over 9. Multiply times the quantity 0 0.4 plus 1.6 divided by 9. And now let's find out with a calculator what that index of refraction is equal to. So first we take 1.6 divided by 9, which is about 0.177. Add that to 0.4. Now we have 0.577. Multiply times 28 and divide by 9. And we get 1.7975. Well, that's about... 1.80 and so that's the index of refraction of the unknown liquid based upon what they have given us and that's how we do that.